Okay, time for the Cardiff view now. And was that Cardiff's worst performance of the season so far? Buller says, Shadow Markin doesn't win games. Was he right, James? You were there. How bad was it? Um, 15 minutes. First 15 minutes. Um, you should, should have told the players that the kickoff was at 3 o'clock, not 20 past 3, because it was absolutely atrocious. It, they were just chasing shadows. They couldn't get a touch on the ball. It was it was pathetic, to be honest, for a professional level side to be that far behind from closing professional players. Then it was pathetic. Yeah, I suppose it's just a highlight of how good Cardiff have been this year. That you 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 know you feel disappointed about going to you know a team like Southampton because they can they'll beat anyone on the on the day, won't you? But for twenty minutes, was that the worst twenty minutes you've seen all season? Um, up there with the uh, with the worst twenty minutes. I mean, you know, obviously, I'm not expecting us to sort of dominate. You know, when you come to a team like Southampton, you know, Russell Martin side's always like having a lot of the ball. But you know, there's got to be a standard set, and we were way below that standard. Yeah, I mean, it's just a reminder, isn't it, with the Southampton and West Brom you played recently that this championship is is a strong league, isn't it? Yeah, it's a strong league. Um, obviously, we've we've had quite a decent start to the league compared to last season. So I think the realistic expectations this season is sort of to finish anywhere sort of in a mid mid table. Um, you know, they, I think there are fans sort of thinking, oh, if we can send the right players in January, we can you know potentially look at the playoffs. Like not saying that we'll get it, but look at them and. I think after the last two games, you you can see why teams are in the top six and some teams aren't in the top six. The yeah. standard is just is a is a level above. Yeah, I mean you're still six points off the playoff, and you've still got your best player out, haven't you? People forgetting that that you you know you haven't had uh, your best player available to you for 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 well over a month now. Yeah, um, obviously Ramsey's been out for quite a while now. Um, you know, we've had to sort of just and adapt to that. But saying that, um, you know, any top clubs or any teams, you know, challenging in that top half need to sort of find ways to uh, be a bit more consistent without having just one in, one of the main players missing. Okay. Uh, what about Runnison uh, and Alnwick? What's your what's your, <laughs> what's what's your view on that? What's your view on that? Um, I I don't understand why Alnwick was dropped. I know that he made the one or two mistakes against Norwich, um, but then Runnison's come in uh, last week and against Preston, um, obviously managed to win that game in the end. But the goal he conceded his position in this. Uh, his actual awareness in and around the box is just it's just all over the place and I think that um, Alwick needs to be back in goals like you know this Saturday definitely OK a uh, quick word on your FA Cup job before we look at uh, the Millwall game then um, disappointing <clears throat> Sheffield Wednesday away yeah, yeah disappointing I, with it, with sort of the FA Cup draws I always like to have sort of an away team sort of like a League 1 League 2 maybe or it's like champ um Premier League team, just someone they're not going to play in the league, basically. Yeah. Um, I mean, the only you know difference is really with this draw is is um it's after Christmas, so we got the uh, league game um two days before Christmas. So the fans that are not able to sort of make that game may look at Sheffield Wednesday in the cup, and obviously I know that their uh, ticket prices ain't exactly you know competitive with the championship, so maybe. Yeah, That's, that could be a you know a positive. Yeah, they're not going to play their strongest side, are they? Okay, let's look ahead to Millwall then. What do you make of Millwall? He's got a new manager. Um, haven't started particularly well. Um, yeah, chance, fancy your chances this weekend. Yeah, I, I think we can definitely um, get a result against Millwall this weekend. Um, it, they've they've been a bit of a funny side this season. You know, they've sort of won a game or two, and then they sort of lost. And they've just they're very um, consistently inconsistent. So coming into this game, um, you know, home as well we are. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite confident we can sort of get a win here. Okay, let's get score prediction for me then. Um, Blue Bears against the Lions. I'm going to go two one Cardiff. Right. Nice one. Just before I go as well, the manager's contract. Um, talk us through where that's up to because uh, I've read that. Um, 
Is he? Um, he hasn't signed a new contract uh, yet. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. So with um, when he was brought in in the summer, he was given sort of a, a season's contract to say, um, and then obviously depending on sort of how well he's done or doing, then obviously towards the end of the season, that's when that will be discussed. I think that um, obviously he brought uh, Siopis and Gutas in with him in the summer. So, you know, I don't think they were committed to the club if he weren't going to commit to the club. So I think, and also as well, you know, he's, he was unproven in a championship coming into the season. So I think that he's proven that he's well worth his sort of contract. I think that and hopefully different, um, you know, starts the season when actually have a manager that sort of survived the whole season <laughs> yeah because consistency is important isn't it right thanks for joining us enjoy the game against Millwall behave yourself <laughs> especially against <laughs> Millwall okay alright cheers James nice. right.